Welcome to the Art and Photography Department. My name is Miss Rhodes. I am the subject leader for the Art, Craft and Design course. So I'm going to talk briefly about the structure of the course and what kind of topics that we cover, what kind of skills the suitable students will require and give you a, a flavour of the methods of teaching and presentation that we use to ensure that we get good quality outcomes. So the Art, Craft and Design course is a very broad title, but it actually encompasses uh, students from an art and design background, photography background, as well as the textiles. So really what you'll be, um, if you select that title, you will be expected to specialise in your particular area of study, whether it be photography or art, but you will be in a class of those other creative um, students, which means actually that you get to explore and develop your skills in a variety of ways that you may have not considered initially. And that is because what we have now is an industry um, where companies are looking for visual communicators who are really good at problem solving and experimentation and they're able to communicate their ideas in a variety of ways. So there will be skills that translate from the art into the photography and from the photography into the art as well as the textiles so that we can teach all those skills to build you a really strong, broad, balanced portfolio. Um, it is important to be um, committed and to be dedicated because it is a very challenging course. We will be looking for students that are able to work creatively, independently, demonstrate their communication visually as well as through annotation and analysis. Um, and, you know, an art course can be something that is very um, time consuming. So we need to be looking for students that have a good balance about organising their time and their resources. So. Obviously, we're looking for those students with a high level of commitment and passion, but obviously we will match that in terms of the workshops and the skills that we teach you. So year 12, the structure of the course is essentially looking at building your technical skill in a variety of different methods. There are four objectives that you'll need to cover. Develop, experiment, record and present. Now, those four objectives build the base of, of your project and they're the same objectives that you would have worked on at GCC. What we're looking for though at A-level is a mastery of some of those techniques and also a wider understanding, a broader understanding of the contextual research that infiltrates into your project. So yes, you will be needing to analyse artists, craftsmen, photographers, practitioners that are contemporary as well as historical to support your practical work. Um, we also want to motivate our students. So we do a lot of workshops that are quite risk taking and we'll be asking you to work on a large scale, to be using techniques that you may have not experienced before um, and to also work with experimental types of painting or drawing or photography techniques so that we can balance the technical aspect as well as the experimental fun side of it. Um, it really is about an investigation of a journey from start to finish and that means you need to communicate your ideas very clearly but we will structure that for you and support you with the process and the presentation outcomes. So the year 12 is really your foundation where you start to really work out your identity as an artist in the framework of meeting those objectives. By the end of year 12, you will have developed and experienced all of those different styles of artwork or photography or textile design. And then what you will be doing is working on what we call the personal project. And that's where you need to design and work to a brief or a question uh, where you're investigating that topic in depth. You look at artists, practitioners, photographers that have also looked at that topic to demonstrate your contextual understanding. And this is where the element of the 3000 word essay is involved. Um, so there is that balance between the practical and the written work that is enhanced and increased from what you would have had at GCSE. Um, but it's an immensely enjoyable course. Um, here at the Beaconsfield School, we have a fully resourced photography studio with full Photoshop. We also have large art classrooms like the one I'm sat in now. And we also um, expect you to embrace some of the risk taking and experimental procedures and styles that we will be teaching you here. Um, so by the end of year 12, you'll have that first module, that first coursework completed. Year 13, you move on to your personal project and then you have an exam module at the end, which is where you will be um, giving a brief and having to work to a shorter time scale, much like you would have done at GCSE. Um, so really, we're looking for passionate, engaged students that have that high technical level of skill, but also a willingness to learn and take on, on board those risks. So I hope that gives you a flavour of what our art department is like um, and I look forward to hopefully meeting some of you in September.